Hey friends, Sleepy here, and welcome to a brand new pickups video. This is actually the first pickups video for 2021, and today we're going to go over everything that I got for Christmas, gifts that I received, and I also received several gift cards to my local game store. I also got one from an employee to GameStop, and so I'll show you guys all the stuff that I bought. Also, my wife took me out to a few stores and had me buy things uh, for Christmas as a gift uh, from her, so it was really awesome. So I got a lot of great stuff to share with you guys today. And we'll get started here with some stuff I got from my wife. First thing, uh, she bought me the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I had rented it from uh, Gamefly, and so she paid the $40 that they were charging for it for me to be able to keep the game for my collection, which is awesome, because my wife knows that I love the Mario Kart series, and I wanted to get this one for my Switch collection. I just always wanted to wait for a little bit of a price drop on it, which... Unfortunately, you guys know Nintendo never likes to freaking drop the price on their games ever. However, I do know that Gamefly that I rent from likes to have sales, and they had some Christmas sales going on, and this was only uh, $40. So she got me that for Christmas, so that was awesome. Love this game. One of my favorites. You guys that haven't heard me talking about it in my weekly playlist series, definitely worth getting. If you have a Switch, get a copy of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It is amazing. It is awesome. We also, we were at uh, Best Buy when we were doing shopping, and my wife found this. And it was only 10 bucks. It was half price. It was normally 20 but Best Buy had a sale on them. And it was this really cool Super Mario uh, collectible coin set for the Super Mario Brother 3D All-Star series. And you got Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, and Super Mario Galaxy. So really neat. Really cool. like the coins on there. I'm just going to leave this sealed. So that was a great gift to receive. If you guys are wondering, you can get these at Best Buy. Uh, we were there recently, and they still had them on sale for $9.99. So if you want to get them, I would definitely jump on it soon because these will be sold out. And the... Uh, person that worked there said they're not getting any more. It was a one-time thing for Christmas, and that's all they have. So I would definitely get them now if you want one. That was cool to get. Uh, we went to Target, and my wife found me because I wanted to get this just for the collection. I'm going to leave it sealed. But she got me the Game & Watch Super Mario Brothers. Uh, very cool. These were, you know, 50 bucks. They had a whole bunch of them restocked in. The guy said they had sold a ton of them the day before, and he was actually putting them out when we saw them there. And my wife's like, oh, you want one, don't you? And I said, yeah. I'll take it. So she got me this for Christmas. So, so happy to have this for the collection. Such an iconic uh, game. You know, this is what got me into um, video games. It got me into collecting and everything. And I just had to have this for the collection. It's really cool because you get to play the classic Mario Brothers and Mario Brothers 2 on the old little Game & Watch uh, handheld, which is pretty cool. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was. So really neat to have that. Also, at my local uh, game store, she got me some star trek figures for my collection which i have a huge star trek figure collection unfortunately it's all in storage right now but someday i'd like to get it out and actually hang them up all on the wall because all the figures i have are in the uh, original package and they're in really good condition and this game store always has them for like two and three bucks sometimes even a dollar so she got me four of them that i didn't have and the first one i got is this cool jean-luc picard one and all of them are in really good condition so love having that we also have uh, Locutus, so Captain uh, Picard as a Borg. That was neat. Uh, Jordy LaForge, another variant that I didn't have. And uh, Captain Montgomery Scott, so Scotty, one of my favorite Star Trek characters. He was awesome guy. James Doohan, I really wish I could have met him when he was alive. Uh, a couple of my buddies met him at a couple different Star Trek conventions, and they said he was just a real down-to-earth guy, and it was really awesome, and they got an autograph. And my one buddy did get an autograph for me, so I do have his autograph on a paper somewhere with his picture and stuff. I just get it put away in storage. But someday, you guys, when I get all these Star Trek figures out, I'll do a giant Star Trek figure collection for you because all of them are in uh, the original package like these are. I have hundreds of them. So that would be a cool video to show you guys. So she got me those. And then we hit up some uh, half-price bookstores, and my wife got me a couple more Star Trek books. I almost literally have every Star Trek book that was ever made as far as, like, the paperback book series. So here was one I needed. It was Star Trek, The Captain's Table. This was book six of six. I had the other five, but I did not have this one. So I was happy to get that. She also got me Star Trek Voyager, A Pocket Full of Lies. So this is a newer Star Trek Voyager uh, novel that just came out in 2016. So definitely did not have that. That was cool. Star Trek The Next Generation, Greater Than The Sum. And this one is from 2008, another newer one that I did not have. And a Star Trek Deep Space Nine, Sacraments of Fire, which I love reading my Star Trek books. I've read, I've read tons of them, and I want to get all of them, and so that's my goal. And so I checked on my site, and these were the few I did not have that they had at the Half Price Books, which they had like a 200 of them. Unfortunately, most of them, except for these four, I already own. So, so cool. And this one was from 2015, so 
very happy to receive those gifts. Uh, let's see. And then uh, when I was there, uh, she bought me some games. We had This one was only 4 bucks. It was on clearance. And that was Dishonored. But this is the Game of the Year edition. It says it includes the Knife of Dunwall, the Brigmore Witches, Dunwall City Trials, Void Walker's Arsenal. And it's actually got two discs. So it's actually on. It has the content on one of the discs in the game on the other. So that's really cool. I already had this, but I did not have this one with the DLC. And for 4 bucks, you know... I love having physical uh, DLC packs in my collection, so had to get that. And then I'm working on building up my Wii U collection, and I think this one was like 10 or so bucks, but it was Need for Speed Most Wanted U. It's supposed to include this Ultimate Speed pack, but, you know, with them shutting down the servers in the Wii U anyways, and the, I think the Marketplace might be down. I don't know if it's up. You probably couldn't download it anyways, but I just wanted to have the game because I did hear that this has a unique Wii U feature, with the gamepad and stuff, and people said that if you like Need for Speed, you gotta check out the Wii U version because it was made for the Wii U, so. And I love the Most Wanted games anyways, it's really cool. And it had this manual, so that was great, so very happy to have that for the collection. I also got uh, Wipeout 3, I think this is like 6 or 7 bucks, just for me going for that complete Wii U collection. You know, there's gonna be some of these sh kind of shovelware type of games, but I'm sure my son, he likes playing these silly games, so he might enjoy it. I've heard really good things about this game, never played it before. I was so glad to see it there. I think it was like 11 bucks, and that was the Wonderful 101. People said if you have a Wii U, you've got to play this game. It's really cool. I don't really know anything about it, just that it looked neat, so I want to try this one out and see how it is. If you guys have played it, let me know. But it's also complete with everything in there, and it's in really good condition too, so I like that. And this one still has a price that was on there, 6 bucks. Another one just for complete collection is The Voice I Want You, but my wife... And son, they like these kind of singing games. They have the I have got up all the sing stars, and they like those just dance dancing games. So they might play it. Me, I'm not going to get it. Like I said, I got it for my going for my complete Wii U collection. So I just need it for that. So she bought me that. And then they had one PSP game, and I was a little disappointed. It didn't have the manual. I've been passing on this like it's probably like the sixth copy now I found locally. But, you know, for the price, I just couldn't say no because it was only six bucks. It was Star Wars Lethal Alliance for PSP. It was the only Star Wars game I was missing for PSP. Unfortunately, it's missing the manual, and I just, but it's just so, like, it's like new. I just couldn't say no to it. And I'm like, you know, I really want to play it, and I'm getting tired of passing on it. I said, hell, I'll just buy it now, and if down the road, if I happen to find another one complete, I'll buy it. And then, whatever the better, you know, I'll make this. If this one's better than the other one is, and I just take the manual out of it. I can always just sell the other one or trade it away or give it away or something, but I'm looking forward to checking this out because this game uh, looks fun, and I remember a buddy had it, and he loved it, and that was before I had a PSP, so so happy to get that, so love that my wife got me all of those. That was really awesome. I also got a couple of magazines there for 50 cents. Game Informer, one of the issues I was missing of the newer ones for 50 cents. I had some old Game Pros, too, which I love buying these old ones, so this one is... Issue 216, uh, September 2006, in really good condition, 50 cents, and then this other one for 50 cents was from December 2006, number 219, I did not have these, so pretty cool, even if I had them, I would have buy them, for 50 cents, I buy these all any time I can get them, because I know other people are after them, and, you know, I'm getting them, I can put them in my trade box, I can always trade with other people who are also going for complete sets of magazines and stuff, I just love reading these old magazines, they're packed with such great content, so... That was some great gifts to get there. And then I have one strategy guide. I was so happy to see there was only $20 there. And I'm actually going to be getting back in this game soon. And it's the Assassin's Creed Odyssey. But this is the Collector's Edition strategy guide. Which is actually a regular one. There's this one. And then there's uh, there's like one or two other ones that are they cost way more than you know, like 50 100 bucks for them. Which I don't need anything that crazy. But it was cool that it has the little digital code. The back little tells you what's in there, but it also came with this cool fold-out map, which hasn't been used at all. And then it has detail maps and everything for all the quests for such a game. So now these kind of games, you need this for. I really wish Assassin's Creed Valhalla got a strategy guide. I don't know if maybe they might have self-published one or not, which I saw that Cyberpunk got one, so I'll have to look into it. But I love this Assassin's Creed Odyssey game. So happy to have this strategy guide for it. It was so great. My wife found it when we were looking through the strategy guides and said, hey... Uh, do you want this one? It's 20 bucks. Hell yeah, I had to get that. So such great stuff. My wife is an amazing person. Love of my life. She got me some great gifts this year. So I'm so happy uh, with that. So let's see. What else are we going to go through? Oh, I can show you guys a couple gifts I got from my um, brother. So 
he came and visited us for Christmas time, and he didn't have time to buy gifts because he works for the post office, and they've been just freaking madhouse there, and he hadn't had time, so he took me out to the game store here by the house before I went to work, and he bought me a couple of games. And first one he got me was Assassin's Creed Three Liberation for my PS Vita, which I have a very small library of the PS Vita. I just bought it this year, so I'm looking to build it up, and I was happy to see this. Yeah, I've been running into a lot of Vita games loose, but like with the PSP and the... Um, 3DS and DS, I like to have those ones complete. Game Boy Advance and Game Boy games I don't give a shit about, but for PS Vita and PSP, I prefer to have them complete, at least with the case. I don't like them just being loose. The little cartridges. I don't know what it is. I just like them complete, so. Got that. Looking forward to checking that out, because I love the Assassin's Creed series and I never played this one. And then this is one I've been looking for for a while, because I had the PSP version, but I wanted to get the DS version, and that was Dungeon Explorer Warriors of Ancient Arts, and it is in really good condition, too. It's one of those top-down isometric RPGs, but this is the, um, the DS version, and it's complete. Like I said, I've run into this loose, but never complete with everything, so I was so happy to get those from him, so that was awesome. Mike, thank you so much for that. Love you, brother. That was some awesome stuff, some great gifts from him. And then I got one gift here. You guys have probably seen in my video because it's been over there. But my buddy Jeff and I always get each other a gift at work. We both work uh, together and we always get each other every year. We've been doing it for like the last five years, getting gifts for each other. And he found this and knew that I would like it. He had to actually special order it. And that is a Thwomp plush from Super Mario. And this is from 2013. So that was awesome. I saw some people selling this exact plush on eBay and it said they were sold a whole bunch of them. For $500. I don't know who the hell was paying that. He had to pay. He said he paid more than he wanted to pay for it, but he knew that I would really like it. And so he got that for me. So that's awesome. So I got him. And like I said, you guys have probably been seeing him in my videos, but that's the gift I got from my buddy Jeff. So, Jeff, thank you so much, buddy. Love the gift. He's uh, awesome. I mean, I got a huge plush collection going, and that was a great addition to it. So thank you so much, man. And then we'll go talk about some plushes. So, my work, we sell the plushes. Uh, the Mario ones, and they're twelve ninety nine, but I get a discount. And then we also got a bunch of um, money. We I think it was like a hundred bucks or something. Yeah, it was a hundred dollars, like a Christmas bonus gift. So I used it and bought some plushes. And I always take the boxes we come in. So I got myself another Kirby. I got another paratrooper, which I'm gonna give to my wife. And I never had a toad, so now I got a toad there, which is cool. And then uh, I got uh, some Yoshi's here, which I got this red one at my work. And then my parents gave me this black Yoshi uh, in my stocking, so that was cool. And then this dark blue one and this orange one I got at GameStop, and they had a sale. They're normally, you know, $13 there. They had them on sale for only 9 bucks. so I grabbed two that I needed. The other ones were ones I already had, so so happy to have those. And anytime we get these in, because they come in six, six little uh, plushes come in these little boxes, I always take the boxes home because we just throw them away. And that's one of the nice things about being a manager there is I can take this stuff if I want to. I don't have to ask anybody. And so I've been taking them. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of these now. And so I'm going to keep taking them as I get them. So they're a great holder for my plushes. And you can put other stuff in. I just like that they say World of Nintendo on them. So happy with those. Uh, we're getting here to the end of the stuff. Uh, I'll go over the, now the stuff I got at GameStop. So one of my employees... She always buys me gift cards or she gives me money sometimes for Christmas every year. And this year, she surprised me with a $50 GameStop uh, gift card. And so I went to a couple different ones and took advantage of their four for $30 uh, sale. And so out of pocket, um, it only cost me like, uh, I wasn't even that big of a price. But, you know, it cost me like what? Ten, twelve dollars something out of pocket after using the gift card she got me, and I got myself a bunch of Xbox One games that I did not have for the collection. It was great, you know, seven dollars fifty cents a game. So, first one we got was uh, XCOM Two, which I love the XCOM series and never played XCOM Two. Really cool. I do know there's like a um, a deluxe version or something of this out there that has extra content, which I might look into uh, getting. Love the uh, series, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. Heard great things about this, and I played the other one, so I had to have that. Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, which I sh talked about in my last weekly playlist video that I bought this, and then they had a sale on the digital version, so I've got that, so I don't even really need the disc, but, you know, I like to have my physical games in the collection. Love this game, having a blast with it, so happy to have that and finally play it, and, you know, I had to try it out for myself, and I did enjoy it. Finally got a copy of Borderlands 3, so that's cool. Been looking forward to playing Borderlands 3. I gotta go back through and beat Borderlands 1 and 2, and I did get the 
um, Borderlands remastered Handsome Jack collection thing on the Xbox One from GameStop earlier in the year. So happy to get this. Well, actually, last year, geez. Uh, that's with that. There we go. Uh, next up, we got here a game called Immortal Unchained. It's just look kind of cool in there. Just looking for other games to bundle with it because they were picked clean. Like the GameStops I went to, the three of them, like it was so barren wasteland and there was hard finding games for that sale and anything i didn't already have there was a bunch of games of course i already had bought last year in the, their previous sale so i was just looking for games to bundle with the uh special to get them for that 750 price so looks pretty cool people said it kind of plays like a dark souls but with guns so i'm looking forward to checking that out next up we got uh devil may cry but this is the definitive edition 1080p 60 frames per second all new features and all original DLC included, which I love the Devil May Cry games. Remember, I had this on the th uh, 360, but I never actually played it very much. So now I've got the Xbox One version. It has all the extra content, so that's cool. And what's really neat, some of these actually had, um, some of these did have manuals in them. Uh, next up we got here is the Trine Ultimate Collection. You got Trine 1, 2, 3, and 4. And it also had the bonus content with the um, map. And a little code where you can download extra stuff for it and it wasn't used. So that was really cool to get. So happy uh, to have these games because these games are really fun. I've heard great things about them, so I want to check them out. So I'm glad to have the collection because they had Trine 4 by itself for $15. Or you could pay $7.50 and get a four of them. So I'm like, hell, I'll get that one. Really happy to see this next one was the Mega Man Legacy Collection, which I need to get the first Legacy Collection. So this one has Mega Man 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that's awesome. Because Mega Man 9 and 10 were never released physically because there they were newer ones made. And I was on the Xbox Live and like PSN um, Marketplace. So it's nice to have physical versions of them. It also has Remix Challenge Mode, Mega Man Museum History, and Online Leaderboards. So four mega hits. So looking forward to getting the first Mega Man Legacy Collection uh, to go with this one. So that was cool. And the last one I got there was Rogue Trooper Redux. This was a remake of an old PS2 game, third person action game. I remember I liked it and so I said, hell, I'll give it a try. So very happy to get all those games from GameStop. Like I said, 60 some bucks with, with a little bit more than 60 bucks with the tax. I had that $50 gift card. So for me, it was like 10 or $12 out of pocket for all these games. That's a hell of a deal. I got one game that I had um, from Gamefly, and I just got this for myself. I think it was 15 or so dollars, and this has a really sh uh, short print run. None of my local game stores have it, and none of their stores anywhere in the four states are in have copies. But that is Remnant from the Ashes. I've heard really good things about this. This is another one of those games that's like a place that's as difficult like Dark Souls, but with guns, and people said that it's worth uh, checking out. They actually just released a prequel to this game like Kronos from the Ashes or something, which I actually just rented from Gamefly, and that'll be coming here soon. And that one just came out recently, and it was brand new for uh, 30 bucks. And it's the thing with these, you know, a lot of these uh, smaller printed games, you know, these smaller published studio games, you know, especially these THQ Nordic that publishes for them, Perfect, you know, it says Perfect World and Gunfire Games. You know, whenever these get released for consoles, if you don't buy them, around the initial launch of these games especially if they come out at that 10 20 or 30 dollar you know real cheap price they usually have very small print runs and these are the kind of games that are going to be tough to find in the future and they're one that's going to probably go up in price for you to find so if these you know find the games you really like i recommend getting them when you can get them same thing with like that mafia definitive edition you know now they're kind of easy to find but you know 10 years from now they might be hard to find so that's something i always keep an eye out for you know if i start seeing something's going to be small print run you know, I look into buying them as soon as I can for a good price so I can get them before I have to pay those stupid scalper prices because I refuse to pay those. So looking forward to checking out. If you guys have ever played it, let me know how it is, but I'm looking forward to that. Uh, that's from the game store. Oh, uh, what else? No, I'll show you a couple of things I got at the uh, game store. Got a couple of PS Vita titles. First up is Ragnarok Odyssey, an XC game. So just a little, little um, RPG so it just says, fling enemies into the sky, fly up to continue a mid-air assault, and then it smack them across, kill across the battlefield. Prove your worth as a mercenary in this fast action-paced RPG. So not a turn-based one. Just look cool. And like I said, I wanted to build up was 15 bucks. But I want to build up my Vita library. So just look really neat. So I grabbed that. And then I also got Sonic and All-Star Racing Transform, which is also 15 bucks, which I love this uh, 
Sonic and All-Star Ring. I pretty much have this like on every console that it's been released on now. <laughs> and this also has Danica Patrick and Wreck-It Ralph, our bonus characters in this, which is a great racing series, just like Mario Kart, just as good. And I love it, so so happy to have that. A couple more Wii U titles. Uh, Just Dance Disney Party 2. I have absolutely no intention of playing this. Like I said, I'm just going for a Wii U set, so I need it for that. Let me work. Let me tell you guys, don't go for complete sets because you'll get a bunch of games you don't like. You know, don't be crazy like I am and go for complete sets. But yeah, I just love the Wii U and it's just one set I would love to have a complete one for. I already got a complete original Xbox. I'm only missing two games from a complete Nintendo 64 collection. So trust me, guys, just stick to the games you like to play and just buy those and don't go for complete sets like me or you'll have a crazy amount of games that you don't even need to have that you won't play. And this next one we got here was Penguins of Madagascar. It was only three bucks. Which I might actually play this because I did like the Penguins movie. I did like the Madagascar um, movie. And I did play one of the Madagascar games with my uh, son when he was younger. And I enjoyed it. So I might actually play this one. It was only three bucks. And it's complete with a manual. So that was cool. So there's some of those Wii U games there. Uh, we'll end with stuff from Family Video. And then I have two things I got from eBay. So Family Videos, unfortunately, are going out of business. They just announced this month that they were going to close the last of their 250 stores. Then my local ones were closed for a couple days so they could get ready for the sale. Everything in the store is for sale. Games, movies, TV shows, Blu-ray, signs, shelves, TVs, the cleaning machines, everything. Ladders, whatever it is in the store, it was for sale. And so we stocked up. I got a bunch of DVDs and Blu-ray movies and TV shows. I'm not going to show you guys that. You know, I like to keep this focused around video games. But I got a bunch of those. They're already put away in the shelf. But I did get a bunch of games for the Xbox One and one PS4 title. So the one I got for PS4 is the day one edition of Dragon Quest Heroes. The World's Tree, Woe, and Blight Below. And this had an exclusive little content with it. And this plays just like Dynasty Warriors, but with Dragon Quest uh, characters. So... You guys know I love that series, so definitely one I had to get. And it's complete with the map, so that was cool. And only 10 bucks For Xbox One, my son really wanted me to get this for us. And that is Outlast Trinity. It has Outlast, Outlast Whistleblower, and Outlast 2. It was only $10, so he was excited. It has two discs for it, too, so that's really cool. Uh, next one, you know, my buddy Dean from Escape to Gaming had recommended this series. And it's always like $20 and $30 here. So when I saw it for 10 I had to jump on it. And that was Zombie Army Trilogy for 10 bucks. Looking forward to checking out this where you fight uh, Nazi zombies and stuff. Looks really fun. He told me that it's a great series. And I do need to get the um, the fourth one or whatever, the one that comes after this. So looking forward to that. This next one is one that I rented. And I actually rented it from that family video. So this is the exact copy I've rented. Now I own it. But I got a copy of Resident Evil 2. It was only 10 bucks, which this was an awesome game. I'm at the very end. I just had to return it before I could beat it. So now that I own it, I can beat it whenever I want to. Next up, I got... Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2 for 10 bucks, which I have the first one. I love these Lego games. They're always fun. And this one actually has a manual, so that's cool. 10 bucks. Looking forward to playing that. I also got Lego Marvel Avengers. This one's always 20 and 30 bucks at the local game store. So when they had this for 10 bucks, I had to jump on it. Did not have the manual, but that's all right. Next up for 10 bucks, I got a copy of Prey, which I love the older Prey games. Never played this uh, newer Prey one. I've always wanted to try it out. Heard mixed things about it, so I'm looking forward to checking it out myself. It also comes with a code because it was never used because the family video doesn't give the codes out. And they stopped giving out the manuals, which also has the manual in there. And there's also another little insert in there. So looking forward to checking it out for 10 bucks. If you guys have played, uh, played this Prey, let me know how it is. So happy to see this one for only 20 bucks because I have not played it, but I've seen video of it and it's really good. And that's Resident Evil 3 for Xbox One. So looking forward to uh, playing through this one. Once I beat 2, definitely going to jump into number 3. So that was awesome. Another one here that's like $50 still used at uh, GameStop. It's still like $40 and more at the local game stores. And that is Doom Eternal. And they had it for $20. Bucks. I was so happy to have that one. And it's complete with the little manual and stuff. I know there's like a deluxe version of this too, but for 20 bucks, I could not say no to it. So looking forward to playing it because I love Doom ever since I played it on the 64 and the old PC. Doom's just fucking awesome game. I love it. It's violent and just destroyed the demons of hell and shit. And Doom guy is just a fucking badass. So I'm so happy to have that game. The next one I got here for my wife and myself to play and my son, I got us Crash Team Racing Nitro Field for 20 bucks, which we first played the Switch version, so I do want to get it on Switch too, but I do like um, like this game, so my wife wants to play this, so she was so happy to see it. Unfortunately, they had already sold the, uh, the Crash 
pack where they remade the three Crash games, so I won't be able to get that, but that's all right. But it does have the little bonus content in there, and for 20 bucks was a good deal. Uh, next up here, I got the Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Madan, for 10 bucks, which you guys saw. I got that sequel to it with the from their website with that uh, came with that doll and steel book and stuff, so I need to get the first one. Finally, glad to see it for 10 bucks, so I grabbed that. Next up, I got a copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. So this uh, port from the 360 version. So happy to see this. Always another one of those $20 and $30 ones. And just has a little paper in there. It was only $10, so that's awesome. And the last one I got there was Hellblade. Senua's Sacrifice for $10. Had the slip cover and everything. Another one that I've really enjoyed playing. I rented it from there, but uh, I had to return it, so I never got the chance to beat it. So I'm glad to have that. And then the last two things we'll show, I uh, got this uh, last year in uh, from eBay. I got the Mafia 2, but this is the Platinum Hits one that comes with all the story DLC and stuff. This is the version my uh, buddy Dean told me about that is that you should definitely get. And it's all physically on the disc, so that's awesome. I beat this game on the Xbox One, and I need to install the DLC for it so I can actually go back and play through the DLC missions and stuff, because that was really cool. So I got that. And the final thing I bought was like 50 bucks. It was so cool to get when I saw this is the Mafia 3 Collector's Edition for Xbox One. This comes um, packed with the uh, soundtracks on vinyl, which is cool. That's why it's so big. And had a little bit, some of the, I think it had one other or two or things of the DLC, but it's so cool to get the Collector's Edition. There's also some other, um, some other collectible thingies in there. It doesn't even have, didn't even tell you. I can't remember what's all in here. Like, there might be an art book and stuff like that. But I love the Mafia series. And when I saw they had a collector's edition, I had to buy it. And I already have the game open, seal, you know, open, that I have a regular version of the game. And I got upgraded to the um, definitive edition for free. So I have no need to open this, but I just got this for the collection for 50 bucks. I could not say no. So, so happy for that. So, that'll do it, guys. That's all the stuff that I have picked up. And everything I received uh, for Christmas, my uh, next pickups video, I'll show you guys uh, stuff that I'll get for my birthday because my birthday is actually coming up here on the uh, 14th. So I'm not sure what day I'll have this uploaded, but the uh, 14th is my birthday. So my next pickup video, I'll show you guys the stuff I get for my birthday. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Take care. You guys have a great day and sleepy. We'll see you next time.